guys, today I am seven, well not today, but this week I am seven months pregnant. Um, I turned seven months on Monday. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Need to stop saying, um. Okay, last week, uh, I went for a couple walks, and the first time I went for a walk, I did fine in the beginning. And towards the end of the walk, I felt really, like, lightheaded, and I don't know, my vision was starting to get, like, it, everything started more black, so I was like, oh, I need to sit down, and I felt like I was going to get sick. <coughs> and so I sat down for, like, five minutes, and then I could finish the walk, but, um, I just thought I was going to pass out. I thought it was because, um, I didn't eat too much before I, I went and I didn't bring water with me. I thought it was because of that. But then I think it was, <clears throat> I don't know if it was the next day or a few days after that, I went for another walk, not even as long. And towards the end of that, I had to sit down because the same thing happened. And I had a drink with me too. So I don't know what was up with that. But, um, <clears throat> and lately I've been just, I think I'm getting tired out more easily. Um, Yesterday, doing laundry and stuff, I started feeling lightheaded too, so, I don't know. Because I have to go all the way downstairs to get the laundry, bring it all the way up and everything, so. <coughs> I don't know. But that just started last week, and today I went for a nice walk, and I did fine. Brought a drink with me, and it was good. So, who knows? Um. Oh, I get a lot of, well, not a lot, but leg cramps in my like calf muscle like I don't know what causes it but sometimes I'll be stretch I'll stretch out and I'll point my toe when you're not supposed to do that but I was just stretching out and I'll get this sharp leg cramp and like the only way to like relieve that is to like point your toe up like towards you not away from you <laughs> so that's what I do and I learned to do it pretty quickly because that hurts really bad um, he's moving a lot lately, just like, he's just been moving a lot lately. <clears throat> and so much that, um, more people can feel him or see him move. Um, the other day I was playing on my belly, <laughs> and he kicked me, and my husband was watching my belly when I, when I was playing with it, and he kicked me, and I was like, oh, did you see that? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> So it's really cool that he's moving around and everything. And, oh, I can't wait until my baby shower. And just so I can have, just so I can see everybody who I invited and um, everything. Just so I can get together with everybody. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, oh, I started my birthing classes yesterday. Me and my husband went, they're, they're uh, two and a half hours long and six weeks long. So every Tuesday. <clears throat> and this week we talked about um, like discomforts and all that good stuff. And breastfeeding <clears throat> and just different parts like what the placenta is and umbilical cord and everything like that. <clears throat> and... I think it's really good. My husband liked it. He was really tired last night, but um, he's going to go to the next one and everything. And he, he enjoyed it, even being tired. <laughs> I was tired, too. It was uh, 6 o'clock, and it um, ended at 8.30. So it was pretty long. We got, like, a five-minute break in between. So it wasn't too bad. It's up at our hospital, and... We first went in, she gave us this little folder, and it has, like, a bunch of papers in it. <clears throat> um, just stuff about breastfeeding and different things like that, and, um, they really, they're, like, really for breastfeeding, but they don't, like, drill it in you, and they're not, like, crazy hippies that are, like, no pain medication, <laughs> or whatever, they just they teach you everything that is offered these days so it's good and the nurse that teaches it is 
really nice and she works in the maternity unit there so that's good and they also gave us paperwork to fill out for the birth certificate already just my information and my husband's so we don't have to do that when we are trying to deliver our baby or after so that's just one less thing to get done now <clears throat> um yeah so that's about it for the oh at the end of the class <coughs> we started going over um relaxation techniques and breathing and stuff and she had us like bug. she had us <laughs> okay it's dead <laughs> She has to lay on the ground, well not on the ground, on the floor, on a blanket, and we brought pillows. And she turned the lights off and started playing this music at first. I was like, yeah, it's kind of weird. But then I was like, okay, I'm ready to fall asleep. This is kind of nice. <laughs> and then there was this tape and it was like telling you to like focus on certain parts of your body and to relax. And, and then um, <clears throat> do this breathing while you're doing it and everything. Like you breathe in slowly, then you breathe out, yeah. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth really slowly. And then <clears throat> another one where you just breathe in two, three, four, breathe out two, three, four. You do that. We did that for like a couple minutes. <sighs> and that's about it for the first class. Okay, my mouth is really dry. Um, what haven't I mentioned? Oh, I don't think I mentioned heartburn. I've been getting that a lot. And that is no fun. I'll tell you that, but what can you do? I try not to, like, lay back when I have it. If you sit up or whatever, it seems to help me, but if you're laying back or reclined a little bit, I don't know, it seems to come up worse, but... Uh, I've been swimming and walking a lot. To get some exercise and with the weather being really nice it's really nice walking and everything and I swim inside in a pool so and this week no big craving um, I'm sure if I had to go without things I would probably say that I had cravings <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going without anything so like um, I guess you could say like I couldn't go a day without cereal or milk so, it's just something, I don't see it as a craving, I guess, anymore. It's just something that I just need. <laughs> I don't see myself go going without it because I don't think I could. <laughs> Alright, um, that's all I have to talk about for this week. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave them below and I'll answer them. <sighs> and I'll show you guys my belly. Big fat belly. Oh, all right. Let me fix myself. Let me know if you think I got bigger in a week. This is the belly from the front and the side. And my shirt up. And the side. And the front, and the other side. Oh, I need to show you guys something really funny. Oh, I don't know if I think it's funny, but I think it's funny. <laughs> I can push in my belly button so it pops out. Look, I don't know if you can see that, but also, <laughs> also when I lay down and I um. When I'm in like a laying down position and then I just um, bring my upper body up <clears throat> and my stomach kind of pushes out my belly button flattens out like I don't know maybe I'll have to do a different clip of that but it's so funny <laughs> I think my husband gets creeped out by it but but uh I think it's funny and that's about it <sighs> nothing else to talk about and i'll see you guys next week Alrighty, bye bye